know. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone here at both houses took the sickness bug set from me. So I'm going back home to my mum's house to not get ill. <laughs> because time is money, and if I have one day off work, I'm fucked for the week. I um I managed to get around the back. I took pictures. Here you go. That's evidence. I'll be on the screen right now. Boom. Um, I will try and get back in there. And then on the plus side, well, when I was getting out, I saw a van coming. Because there was garages behind the house. Um, you know, these were right in the garden where I was standing. So. I started to run, and to get in there, I just come over like a barbed wire with the bushes. And then, um, long story short, I hear a um, but yeah, that's going off the track. Coming a long story short, um, <laughs> I jumped over because of so thick brambles. I fell, but I was just hanging in the air. I was cut the barbed wire, and my groin was getting. Massive thick one was just across my groin. Oh, nice. If it was on camera, it would be so funny. But yeah. But anyway, guys, I will catch you soon on the live stream when I get back to my mum's. Anyway, adios. Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, you're probably wondering where I am. I am walking down the Cooker Trail at Pitch Black. I'll tell you the reasons later on. Um, yeah, I'm walking back from my dad's house and uh, they're all sick there. I thought, fuck that, I'm coming back to my mum's even though they're sick there too. But my mum's more convenient to get to work. Now, I'm not missing a day of work. So, yeah, that's how we do. I was hungry, I had a Chinese takeout. My fucking. My Coca-Cola exploded. I dropped it on the floor. Piece of shit. But yeah, I've got to walk all the way back down this fucking dark fucking trail. If this light dies, I've got a little blue torch. And that's it. Yeah, that is it after this. So this fucking dies, I'm, I'm screwed. I'm literally screwed. Yeah, as you can see, I'm growing a beard. Mainly due to the fact that I'm doing Movember, it's a charity that supports men's mental health uh, and people with men that uh, suffered from cancer and also died from cancer. So it's funding for the men. As men don't really like to show their, their uh, don't really, they like to cope on their own. Their pride gets in the way. I know it is because I'm a man. And they don't really like to tell people what's going on, what they got, or whatever. And I've gone fucking blind from my light. Yeah, but this bit here is just creepy. I will be running the Cooker Trail in about eight or nine days time. I'll be running from Hanlon Park all the way to Heathfield, which is 14 miles. But I'll be running from my house. Well, I'll be running from my house, which is in Polgate, but it's near Willingdon, so it's like near Eastbourne basically. This counts for another three miles there. So, I'll be running basically from Eastbourne to Heathfield. I'm not running back because I'd die, but I'm doing it for November. It's my charity fundraiser. And so far, we've raised five pounds with about eight days to go. Sake. Why is it always my dog? Why does this happen to me? <gasps> I can't hold this shit. I'm on the grass. <laughs> will only be allowed to advertise at top speed if at least half of their customers can access that speed at the same time. Yeah. 
Now, the British actor Gary Oldman says that playing Sir Winston... Pelvic thrusting! ...about the wartime leader... Perfect for when you're shagging your missus. ...of his entire career. Oh! Churchill, widely tipped Feels good. ...our entertainment policy... Hi, Nan. ...you idiot. Oh! Touching the floor. It's a lot harder. What you want? Two minutes again? A minute. And a minute. Presents this week at the earlier time of 11:45. That's the 30 minutes. But first on the easy one. Question time with David Kennedy. Okay now. This one's. Tonight we're in Colchester. And welcome to Question Time. Hello now. Question time. 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 Member of Theresa May's inner cabinet, Greg Clark. Lady Hello. Shadow Home Secretary Diane oh, Abbott this year celebrates 30 years as an MP. Uh, the former head of the Met, who resigned this year at the end of six years as Commissioner, Bernard Urban Howe, okay. crime writer, and Brexit's one minute again, Rita Say Mitchell, and the former boss of Marks and Spencer, who chaired the campaign for Britain to stay in the EU, Stuart Rose. Lots of <sighs> here is always contentious, and if you want to join in from home, just a reminder, our hashtag. 
hashtag is BBC UT on Twitter or on Facebook. Oh, fuck me. Push the red button and you'll see other people ask Come on. Come on. Come on, Jane. Yeah, oh, fuck me. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm off for a haircut, a much needed haircut. Um, the beard's going strong. Oh yes. So yeah, after my haircut, I did some uh, Black Friday shopping just now. All online. Easy peasy, them and squeezy. Um, yeah, I still got a lot to get, but I'll get my cousins and that out of the way first. My brothers most of my brother's stuff out the way, so that's all them sorted. And then the main ones is mum, girlfriend, and grandparents, stuff like that. Ladies and gentlemen, I am not happy. <laughs> Today, it's been shit. Terrible. Bus was an hour late. Finished work, work was super busy, okay. I wanted to go to the gym, Get my flipping groove on, okay, and just go. I had to wait a fucking hour. Hour! Then, got to the gym. Gym was fine. Bus afterwards, I had to wait another 20 minutes. It was 20 minutes bloody late. And I also dropped my fucking sandwich. I had no dinner, it was just fucking dropping my sandwich. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> And then, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, I'd wait another fucking hour for another bus. And then, put my, my fucking card in an ATM, in my actual, my actual bank ATM, and they fucking stole it. So I had to fucking order a new card for fuck's sake. Mate. Fuck. <laughs> I also have to shave my beard off. <laughs> I have to shake my bloody beard off. But well, my cousin is a, is a barber, so if you want to check him out, head to Chaps and Colgate, he'll give you a haircut, mate, he's pretty good. Cut mine. But he, he kind of, when he trimmed my moustache, he kind of shaved most half of it off. So I have to shave all this off. But anyway, yeah, after that, he was alright. 
Uh, but yeah, I've got a day off tomorrow, thank God. I need it. And I'm making my dinner now. Pasta. Well, spaghetti and bolognese, really. And it's like 11. <laughs> anyway, guys, enough from my rant. Um, if you guys want to donate to November, feel free to check out my page here. Uh, I'll give you more details in a minute. Uh, what it does, November supports men's mental health uh, and also any other problems that a man should have. So there's a charity that helps out men with prostate and testicular cancer, um, which I'm the one I'm supporting the testicular cancer one because um, I've got the purple moustache and the bench. I'm going to show you. Um, so far, we've raised five pounds. My target is 500 quid. And we have how many days? Six days <laughs> left to raise 500 pounds. Um, you can donate as little as one p. All you have to do is click on the website, click on my name, click donate, and then type in the amount you want to enter. Uh, there's a gift aid option if, they, if you want to add that in. November will add a one pound site on there, or 13 p, or whatever it is. Um, but yeah, what I will be doing, I'll be running 41 miles. That's what I've been going to the gym all the time, training for. Um, you haven't seen much of me, that's because of that. Um, and also I've been working quite a lot. Um, Christmas, isn't it? This Black Friday shopping, that was good. Um, yeah, that's about it really. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys from the band a bit soon. Anyway, goodbye.